This is going to be a video tutorial on how to set up an external JavaScript file in your HTML document. I'll be using VS Code in the Google Chrome web browser. Let me jump over to my desktop here. Okay, I'm on my desktop now. I'm going to create a folder here on my desktop. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go down to New and up to Folder. And I'm just going to name this folder Test. Hit enter. Now I'm going to open my folder. I'm going to double click on it, open it. And now I'm going to create a folder inside of this folder. I'm going to right click, go down to new, and up to folder. And I'm just going to call this JS. Just JS, lowercase JS. I'm going to hit enter. Now I'm going to go over to VS Code. Okay, I'm inside of VS Code now. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to open that folder that I just created. I'm going to go up to File, down to Open Folder, and then I'm going to locate that folder that I just created, which is right here. I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to click Select Folder. Now I'm inside of that folder. Now I'm going to create my HTML file. I'm going to go up to File, New File. Now I'm going to save my uh, new file here as an HTML file. I'm going to go up to File, down to Save As. And I'm just going to call it index.html. And I'm going to hit Save. And now I'm going to create my HTML boilerplate. I'm going to do an exclamation point. And then you can either click on this top wrench here, or you could hit tab. I'll hit tab. And there's, there is a basic HTML boilerplate already made out there. Now to create my JavaScript file, I'm going to go up to File, down to New File. And now I'm going to save this as a JavaScript file. I'm going to go up to File, down to Save As. And I'm actually going to put it in this JavaScript file, in this JavaScript folder here. I'm going to double click on that folder to go inside it. And I'm going to name it script.js. And I'm going to click on Save. Now if I go back to that folder, you'll see I have my index file there, and if I open the JavaScript, the JS folder, there's my JavaScript file there. Now I'm going to go back over to the index.html file. It's not too uncommon to see an external JavaScript file being placed in the head area. That means between your opening head tag and your closing head tag, but any more they say to put it at the bottom of your body, right before your your body closing tag here, to put it in right at the very bottom of your body. And the reason for that is that way your web page can load before it calls on the external JavaScript file. So we're going to put it right down here. Actually, let me hit enter a couple of times so it looks right. Now I'm going to put my script tags down here at the bottom here. VS Code automatically closes it. There I have my opening tag and my closing tag. I'm going to put my cursor just after the T here. And I'm going to do a space. And then I'm going to type SRC source equals double quotations. And then you want to start off being I have my JavaScript file, my, my JavaScript file in a folder. You want to start off with the name of that folder, and I named the folder JS. Then you'll put a forward slash, and then the name of the file. I named the file script, and then the .js. So you have the name of your folder, and then the script.js. Now I'm going to go up to File, and down to Save. And then to make sure that this file is linked properly, I'm going to jump over to the JavaScript file. 
and I'm going to create a simple alert. I'm going to type alert, parentheses, double quotations, and I'm just going to type hello world. Exclamation point. And you want to end this with a semicolon. Very simple. Now I'm going to go up to File, down to Save. Then I'm going to jump over to my folder here. I'm going to double click on the index file to open it. And as you can see, there's my alert right there, so it is connected properly. I'm going to type on, I'm going to hit OK. And that's it. That's how you link an external JavaScript file that's in a folder. Thanks for watching.